Oh, sorry. Did that wake you? Ah, I just hit another one, that's all. No big deal. What? Hit what? Well, I could start to tell you, but this is going to be a long story. Well, what's the first thing? And what did you hit? Well, first, there was a gigantic war between, well, between the whole world. The war raged on for years, and finally ended in a nuclear bomb. I... Yes. This is no dream. You survived, but just barely. When I found you, you were severely concussed, and you had a terrible gash on your forehead. I've seen to that, though. Oh, how do you feel, by the way? Um, okay, I guess. How are you doing? I feel strange, but it's fine. My stomach just hurts a little bit, that's all. It's nothing really, it's fine. Okay, so wait, why am I not dead now? You know, like radiation and stuff like that. Well, I figured after a while that the only way that this war was going to end would be in a nuclear bomb or something like that. So I decided to make vaccines to help battle against the radiation poisoning. I made them basically so that when I found people like you, they didn't have to survive the initial blast for nothing. Oh, so that's what you stuck me with? Yes. You and some others. But some of the beginning batches were unsuccessful, and the humans that I gave them to are a little bit different now. But it's perfect. Honest. It's all good. Like, what kind of different? Well, I've seen some of them, and they're most certainly not human. But they're also far from being dead, so I'm not quite sure. Wait a minute. So you're saying they're zombies? You're honestly saying they're zombies? And they're out there and they could kill us? Zombies? Eh, I guess that's one way to think about it. Oh. So then this is your car? No, I just took it. How'd you hotwire a car after a nuclear bomb? Uh, it's just a little something I picked up in Mr. Wenham's class. Oh. <laughs> 